Thank you all for being here. Um, we're going to get started, so if you want to grab some of the prize rights, you can take a seat. Bienvenidos, buenas tardes. Welcome to the 57th annual Student Award Celebration that now is just desserts. Uh, everybody's looking at me because they have no idea who I am. <laughs> I'm Faith McMichael. And I am the Associate Director of School of Journalism. Uh, I'm a rookie. I just got here in August. And I am filling in today for our fearless leader, uh, the Director, Dr. Jessica Rakes. Uh, Dr. Rakes is under the weather today, but we're going to have a message from her in just a moment. Um, I wanted to start just by um, testing our graduates today, just to see how well they know their AP style book. Uh, if this is the 57th annual, um, how many total have we had? 58, very good, thank you. You get to graduate. I still love it. How many t-shirts out there are incorrectly printed? Thank you all seriously for being here. Uh, we're celebrating uh, a very awesome group of uh, students and also faculty and staff today. Um, so I uh, hope we'll have a very fun and quick <laughs> celebration. Uh, without further ado, we are going to play you all a pre-recorded message from uh, Dr. Ray. Uh, So we have two groups of folks here. We have some folks that are retiring. And we have some folks that are going on to greater pastures um, and other opportunities. So I'm going to start today talking about some of the folks uh, in our faculty who are retiring. All right, and then we'll move on to some of the others. Um, so I have some I have a little cheat sheet here. Um, I want to first recognize. Dr. David Coulier, Associate Professor, 17 years of service here at the School of Journalism. 
He was the director for eight years. So can we get a round of applause? <laughs>
this is another one of our colleagues that's going on to uh, a little bit greener pastures right across the road here, right across the park. Uh, Dr. Janine Relly, a full professor with 20 years of service. Can we get up for <laughs> Janine is not leaving the school, but she is taking on a very important role uh, in our college as the Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs and Inclusion. Um, Janine is the Director of our Studies of Global Media Programs and Global Initiatives. She actually co-wrote the college's first DEI statement and served as co-chair of the college's DEI committee, which is going to be also instrumental in the work she does for the college. Um, in, 2022, her book, uh, Surviving Mexico, which she was a co-author on, won the AEJMC James A. Tinker Jr. Book Award. So let's give it up one last time for Dr. <laughs> We're going to lean on her quite heavily, even though she's just across the way, so thank you. All right, so we're going to get into the awards, the, the part that so many of you are here to participate in, and I am going to welcome to the stage right now, uh, Michael McKissick. Thanks, Pete. Um, we are going to get to the awards, but uh, I just want to stress how hard it is going to be to replace you all that are leaving us. Um, Two of the people who are leaving actually were my professor. Um, one of the, I know that's crazy, right? Uh, one of the people who Dave, he hired me, um, and he gave me this chance uh, to do this thing that I find so meaningful and that I love so much, and I just want you all to know um, how much you're gonna be missed. So this year I have the pleasure of presenting the Mark Finley Gold Pen Award for the best beginning news writer. Um, it's named after the late Mark Finley, who was a 1934 uh, graduate of our program, and a, a, was a journalist and assistant to the publisher at Hearst Boston newspaper for 17 years. The way this works is uh, students are selected. Um, oh, you were, I already see who won there. That's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's right. They, they already knew. That's right. Um, but the way this works is their instructors nominate them uh, for this contest. They show up, uh, they have 30 minutes to uh, interview uh, a speaker this year, it was Judge Charlene Pesquera. Um, and then they have to turn around a story uh, in 30 minutes. Uh, and judges uh, then decide who produced the best news story. Um, and remember, this is the first time that they've been writing news, and they were turning out really great work. Uh, this year's judges were Eddie Salaya, uh, a former uh, UA journalism student, Gloria Knott, also an alum, and Professor Carol Schwalbe. So, well, you don't know what the order is, I guess. Great, okay, I still get that, that piece. All right, so in third place was Thomas Hoos. Are you here, Thomas? <laughs> Second place was Kiara Adams. I think there's a pen coming too, but they have to be the pen. And the winner of the Mark Finley Gold Pen Award, Sam Parker. Thank you. 
Greenfell is uh, an assistant news editor at the Daily Wildcat and has been doing amazing work over there. Uh, the second winner you just heard about, but she's going to come on back up, is Kiara Adams. <laughs> churning out work at the Daily Wildcat. I went and looked and it looked like oh, maybe 20 articles in the last uh, last year. Um, and I know what Kara's summer plans are. She uh, has a very awesome internship at the Las Vegas Review Journal this summer. So we're going to be seeing her name. Um, all right, and now I would like to, uh, to invite up uh, Rux Sweetie. Noor Hagigi, 
and Madison Farwell. Samantha Larned. 
include Ashley Morales.
So Paloma told me I had one job when I got here, and of course I failed to do it, so uh, I'm going to do it now. Um, if you are a senior graduating, uh, or a master's student that's graduating, and you did not receive an index card from Paloma, can you please raise your hand? I see that two folks. Can you guys go back and grab one from Paloma? Thank you so much. And that's on me. All right, um, I'm going to be announcing three additional awards. Um, the first one that I'm going to start with is the Douglas Martin Award. This is an award that rewards students who show courage or stand up to the powers that be. And this year's award winner is Olivia, uh, Olivia Crook. survey by the Community to Protect Journalists found that 85% of respondents believe their career had become less safe in the past five years, and more than 70% said they experienced safety issues or threats as part of doing their job. And so, Olivia, I just wanted to say that we're inspired by your courage and the fact that you did not uh, run away and get scared, that you, you were able to continue to do your work and um, the school values that. Um, and it has been such a joy working with her. Um, 
I know I speak for Dr. Reitz when I say that she's been a breath of fresh air. She's been very helpful to us uh, as we navigate the uncertainties of our duties sometimes. And she's a loyal and caring staff member who looks out for the school. Um, just today, she was giving me advice on where to stay when I visit Montana this summer and escape uh, these duties of ours. But seriously, uh, Chris is, is one of the people that holds the school journalism together. Um, and she's also been recognized in local media reports this semester for helping start um, our pantry, which is uh, something that was a passion project for her and our staff to try to help our students during these inflationary times. So it's a pantry that provides food and other um, supplies to students that maybe they can't afford. So if we could, can we give Chris a round of applause? The award is named for the former owner of the Tombstone Epitaph and Tombstone Daily Prospector and rewards students who represent the program well outside the classroom. It is difficult to pretend to be someone else for too long. Eventually, the mask falls. For the two students who received this award, even as I discuss their behaviors in school, I really can't see them being any different outside the school. Ainsley Thomas epitomizes <laughs> from an excellent student in the School of Journalism. Every professor who mentioned her name in any conversation had only positive things to say, such as how productive she is, how she is on time every time, participates in class, is keenly interested in science and environment journalism, and has worked well with local news outlets in Tucson. To have such a positive impression on so many people in and outside of the classroom can only mean that no one deserves this award more than her. Ainsley, congratulations. <laughs> the second one, Sammy Chiboka, is possibly one of the nicest students I've had in my classes. Um, the two that he decided to attend. <laughs> no, no, he attended more, I'm sure. Um, ever polite, ever professional, ever hardworking, and ever well-behaved. <laughs> I've interacted with him outside of class, and I can't think of a single time Sammy has not been the model student and individual. All faculty agree with my assessment that Sammy would be the one to portray the School of Journalism in a positive light wherever he goes. Sammy's persona, general temperament, and overall professional behavior makes me think nice things about Scottsdale. Where Sammy is from. Um, something must have gone right there. Sammy, congratulations. The next award I'm presenting is for excellence in research, awarded for outstanding research conducted by an undergraduate, a graduate, or an honors student. Sean Birch decided about a year and a half ago that he wanted to pursue a master's thesis and examine the coverage of Iowa's decision to ban critical race theory education from primary schools. He didn't have any prior experience in research and he was not deterred by that. He worked hard, tried to make sense of peer-reviewed articles and theoretical frameworks, learned this point <coughs> analysis, um, and learned how to get around any barrier to collecting data. As his advisor, I can only say the openness to learning something new, the persistence to carry on even when uncertainty looms large, and the positive attitude towards completing this no matter what the odds is the reason why Sean deserves this award today. Campbell, outstanding junior award named for 
both a former faculty member and head of the UA Journalism program, and recognizes the top member of the junior class. Leah Britton. students game with her critical thinking, ability to analyze complex concepts, and write thoughtful responses, all with a smile on her face. She had such a positive attitude to learning and doing the assignments that she made teaching fun for me. More than that, she was generous with her time, ideas, and was possibly one of the most amiable students I've had in class. Liara is so worthy of this award. <laughs> Arizona Daily Star. 
One of the first stories that this person submitted was a story about a lovely, rare purple mushroom found on Mount Lemmon, with a very beautiful picture of a purple mushroom, very well received. I work at the Arizona Daily Star, and so the, the whispers I heard around the star were, did you see that story? That was a really weird story. That was a really cool story. And I was like, wow, and that was a student, really? Uh, Vic Robolitis ended up coming into the Arizona Daily Star as uh, an apprentice. And he was also juggling classwork, etc. And he went to work for the weirdest apprenticeship at the Star. He went to work for our, with our cannabis writer. <laughs> we, uh, he joined the Here Weed Go. <laughs> His audio production skills were invaluable to helping the star launch the podcast for Here We Go, uh, which was, um, I, I have to say, I did not watch any of it, but I'm from reading some of the stuff that, that you wrote. Hopefully, you did not sample the products. <laughs> uh, it's it is fair, but I'm just that happened. Um, he went on after that apprenticeship. Uh, Vic decided that he wanted to do it again. So he came back to the newsroom and he joined our solutions team. Some of the stories that he wrote for our solutions uh, team, which actually was just two people, Caitlin Schmidt and him, uh, he did stories that, and, and these were not stories he had assigned, okay? These are stories that Vic found. Vic finds stories by looking at Reddit and looking at really interesting websites that some of us look at we don't think about, and Vic sees story ideas. Some of the story ideas he came back with was he had, he found a group of UA students who were working to combat the opioid, opioid epidemic, and he found a Pima County program that helps disengaged youth get jobs. These are the kind of solution stories that people read that really have an impact on their lives. In addition to doing the apprenticeship, he also was in my class, Atlanta, Arizona which meant that at, there could be a day where Vic would have a byline that said, for the Arizona Daily Star, and then he would have another byline that said, El in the Arizona, in the same publication. People were a little confused. I was not. Awesome work. Um, Vic is, is uh, as, as my colleague Caitlin Schmidt said, Vic is the kind of person whose positive attitude is so infectious. He's a natural leader in the classroom, in the newsroom, he comes up with great story ideas. He talks people off the ledge when they are having issues with their story ideas. He is the kind of journalist you want representing your organization. I know he is going off to NYU. I just asked him earlier today, can you find me Vic? Yeah. <laughs> he is a person that uh, that anybody would be happy to have, and we are happy to present you with this award.
Kinsey Guadalmomiji, uh, hashtag I love my dog, the versatility of social media in the online dog community. And in spring 2023, the quick brand, the wrong doors. Jake O'Rourke, PFAS, the subsurface contaminators, a documentary film. Sean Bird, critical race theory in Iowa, an analysis of the Des Moines Register's coverage. Emily Ellis, open range on the river, an examination of the controversy surrounding the San Pedro Riparian National Conservation Area's grazing leases and the BLM's management of its first riparian conservation area. I told her to keep the title short. <laughs> um, I, um, these are the folks from Bilingual. So first we have Marguerite Parraza, and her project was titled La Frontera y sus Ojazos Negros, Una Mirada Hacia la Vida y Cultura Fronteriza. And this place, after uh, Paula Diaz Soet, Migrantes Desaparecidos, and then Ashley Morales, Mental Health in Arizona, Changing the Script. And then finally, Vanessa Lucero, Ecuadorians in Nueva York, Keeping La Cultura Viva. Let's hear it for them. Uh, 
uh, Carly Bianco, uh, Bree Brittle, Allison Burgess, Karen uh, Canida, Jordan Chin, Lila, how 
for you. She needs no introduction. I like all of you. Dylan uh, Grouse, Maria Martinez, Matthew McNulty, uh, Jacob Barin, Miles Smith, and Grace Trail. All right, those are our graduates. This is just for graduates. The rest of you uh, can come and help us uh, figure out the camera equipment or go on about your business. Right? So thank you all for being here and have a great afternoon.